You may remember uh, from last year I did a video uh, featuring uh, this guy's ocarinas. Actually, uh, you probably don't remember because only 67 of you saw this video. So get to watching it before you watch the sequel. And your channel I featured, I believe it was Oma Shanti. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On YouTube? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, here's all the uh, cool oak arenas. Uh, now, be sure to watch the original video. I'll put a link to it that'll. Uh, we have a new work. YouTube page actually that you might want to direct That's them cool. to. That's uh, cool. Our new YouTube page is SE Oak Arenas. Doc, uh, yeah, that's it. SEO Arena's yeah. YouTube. Okay, I'll be sure to direct him to it. Nice. And uh, be sure to watch uh, last year's video, everyone, to uh, understand the different Oak Arenas. He gives a demonstration of all the Oak Arenas. Uh, definitely check last year's out. This is the follow-up, and I believe you said you have a new thing, is that correct? Yeah, we have a bird whistle that's uh, really cool. Uh, what we've done is we've taken your basic whistle and we've crisped it up so that you actually get crazy bird calls that birds respond to. It's a one-hole whistle, just a flick of the finger, you get the bird calls, like so. Super easy, it's a one hole whistle, just flicks of the finger. Uh, it, it all comes down to how much of the hole you cover, technically. Um, just listen to the birds and they'll tell you their language. Just imitate the birds. They love these, the birds talk back to you. Thus we recommend, don't look up while playing them outdoors because they work, the birds are gonna talk to you. Again. <laughs> no. Available on our website. Yeah, that is so cool. Thank you. Uh, can you uh, do an imitation of a cockatiel? I have a pet cockatiel. You know, it's funny. I don't know any of the bird calls because I'm half blind, and whenever I'm talking to the blur to, to blurs to the birds, um, I can't usually see who I'm talking to. I usually just listen to the calls and imitate them. So um, again, that's really what it's all about—is just listening and mm. imitating the birds. My favorite bird call is the English bird call. That sounded like Woody Woodpecker there. Very similar, yes, yes. Uh, you can do a lot of things with the bird whistle. You can do cricket calls. My favorite call is the doe call. I mean, you thought it was all about birds, right? It goes like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Care to demonstrate the uh, English bird call that it's you mentioned? It's the same mentioned? call. It's funny. It, it, it's sometimes known as the cat call. We call it the doe call. It's also the English bird call. And as I learned yesterday, the old schoolers call it the wolf call. So all the animals apparently fit into our bird whistle. It's crazy. <laughs> Would it be possible to like do a follow-up demonstration of the oak arena itself? For, sure, let me uh, do YouTube? that and at the same time I'm gonna actually show these lovely ladies here how it works um, as how we go. How much are these? Oh, the bird whistles we do for 20. They come with a necklace cord and there's an instructional video you can watch that'll get you going. Uh, I've already shown you how it works but if you get them as gifts for others that's the complete package so they can immediately start calling birds. It's super easy. We have three-year-old kids walking out of our booth constantly chirping like birds. It's <laughs> so easy. The ones that play songs. This is a five hole whistle. This is what we're known for for 25 years. Same whistle, five holes, four on top, one on the bottom. Plays every song in the world. You just need to know what fingers to put down note for note is what it's all about. So here's what we do. We start you off with a song book, okay? What you do is you pick your favorite song and follow the dots to see what fingers to put down note for note. If you don't have to read music in our world, you don't even have to be a musician. Just pick your favorite song and play it in the first 10 minutes. Now, when you do it on your own, you build self-confidence. It's how we keep you going in music. We establish with you confidence so that you keep going. To make it perfect, we got rid of hot cross buns and Mary had a little lame. We give you The <laughs> Simpsons, The Shire from Lord of the Rings, and The Cantina from Star Wars. We want to get you thinking outside the box, away from hot cross buns towards your favorite songs. Beatles, Black Sabbath, Metallica, Christmas songs, movies, cartoons, video games. With our rock arenas, you can play your favorite songs. And that's what we do. We start you with the songs you love. It's all included. Can you demonstrate oranges and lemons? Uh, 
this one is a blue. What's oranges and lemons? I have no idea. Oranges and lemons, say the bowels of St. Clemens. I don't know, let me see if I can pick that out. You owe me five farthings, say the bowels of St. Martin's. I don't know, I'd have to when learn the song you in my head. I do mostly rock and roll video games, uh, movie themes, familiar yeah. melodies. Yeah, oranges, oranges and lemons, that's the one, that's the old nursery rhyme that ends with here comes a candle to light you to bed and here comes a chopper to chop off your head. Oh my, yes, I should know that one because yeah. it's perfectly frightening. Yeah, the old one, old nursery rhymes were surprisingly gruesome. Altos we do for 60, they come with a necklace cord and the Oh, one, I hope you enjoyed uh, the, uh, like the 2014 follow-up version. Uh, Thanks for watching my YouTube video. It comes down to what you like the sound of the best. The bigger the flute, the deeper the tube. Same fingerings. Once you learn one, you can play them all. It's universal.